That is the sound of airborne threats echoing through Ukraine skies. The most intense attack occurred on November 15, 2022, when more than 100 missiles targeted a dozen cities and districts, even aiming at Ukraine's critical energy infrastructure. That is the terrible reality Ukraine has been facing in recent times. In the past, Ukraine heavily depended on Soviet air defense systems like the S-300, but things have changed rapidly. Ensuring the protection of their airspace has become their highest priority. As a result, the West is providing Ukraine more sophisticated air defense systems to shore up its defenses. Let's look at these systems the Ukrainian forces are operating to protect their skies and people. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Number 1. The S-300 is a long-range surface-to-air missile system. Since its introduction in 1978, it's undergone several upgrades. The S-300 is designed to engage and destroy aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. It can engage its target from a range of 93 miles. It typically carries multiple missiles with the exact number varying depending on the specific configuration, but it can generally launch several missiles in quick succession. The S-300 missiles are armed with high-explosive fragmentation warheads According to the International Institute for Strategic Studies, Ukraine had about 250 S-300 systems before the invasion happened. Number 2. Developed by the U.S., the Patriot is a widely recognized and highly capable medium-to-long-range air defense system. It was first introduced in 1981 and has since undergone several upgrades. It was designed to engage and destroy a wide array of airborne threats, ranging from drones to ballistic missiles. The Patriot is equipped with advanced radar capable of simultaneously detecting, tracking, and hitting multiple targets at a range of 100 miles. The Patriot is equipped with sophisticated sensors, electronic countermeasures, and anti-jamming capabilities to enhance its effectiveness against electronic warfare threats. Ukraine has incorporated Patriot missile systems into its air defense strategy as part of efforts to protect its skies from various threats. Number 3. The NASAMS is a short to medium range defense system armed with three launchers that can carry a total of 18 missiles. It was developed in 1998 by U.S. and Norwegian companies and it's the same system that protects the airspace around Washington, D.C. It can defend against a wide range of threats including UAVs, helicopters, cruise missiles, and fixed-wing aircraft. One of the notable features of the system is its ability to launch the AIM-120 AMRAAM, which is originally used by fighter jets. The latest upgrade can even fire AIM-9X Sidewinder and IRIS-T missiles to engage highly maneuverable targets, it's capable of destroying targets at distances of 31 miles. The NASAMs can engage multiple targets simultaneously, reducing the risk of being overwhelmed by a large number of attack missiles. Ukraine acquired NASAM systems from the US, Canada, Norway, and Lithuania. Number 4. The German Irish T shares similarities with NASAMS functioning as a lower tier air defense system. It's specifically adapted to utilize missiles originally designed for fighter aircraft. It can provide defense cover for an entire city against incoming missiles. The heat seeking missile has a range of approximately 25 miles. Its ASA radar acquired data from multiple sources and can detect low flying missiles, including the caliber and drones. Manufactured in southern Germany, the Irish T is a relatively new system that's undergone development since the 90s. Germany has made a commitment to supply a total of eight batteries to Ukraine. Currently, two batteries have been delivered and the remaining will be supplied once ready. Number 5. The Hawk is a relatively older air defense system with a missile range of 22 miles. It can engage targets at shorter distances. Each launcher carries three missiles, allowing for multiple engagements. Serving as the predecessor to the Patriot, some versions of the Hawk are up to 50 years old. While no longer used in the United States, several U.S. allies, including Spain, still utilize the Hawk and have even supplied it to Ukraine. 
Additionally, the U.S. has retrieved stored Hawks to support Ukraine. Although older than other systems in Ukraine's arsenal, the Hawks' capabilities make it valuable in countering certain lower-quality Russian missiles. Number 6. The Avenger is a highly mobile air defense system renowned for its impressive features. It possesses a missile range of 5 miles, enabling it to effectively engage targets within its operational reach. With a maximum vehicle speed of up to 56 miles per hour, the Avenger offers exceptional mobility and agility on the battlefield. It's armed with 8 missiles and a 50 caliber machine gun, delivering a formidable combination of firepower. One key advantage is its ability to track and engage targets while stationary or on the move. The system serves as a reliable air defense solution, safeguarding military assets and personnel with its exceptional performance. Number 7. Germany authorized the transfer of 52 Gepard anti-aircraft vehicles to Ukraine, with 34 delivered so far, while 18 are pledged. The U.S. will procure 30 more for Ukraine. Developed in the 1970s, these vehicles were designed to counter low-flying attack helicopters and have shown effectiveness against small targets like kamikaze drones. The Gepard's cannons can hit targets from a distance of 3.4 miles. With a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour, the Gepard offers mobility and agility on the battlefield. Number 8. The Vampire System, a laser-guided missile launcher, has been committed by the U.S. It offers a missile range of 7.5 miles. Designed to be portable, it can be mounted on various pickup truck beds, including non-tactical vehicles. Its installation is relatively quick, requiring only two hours with the assistance of two operators. However, once operational, the Vampire System can be operated by a single person. Now that we've covered nearly all of Ukraine's critical air defense systems in operation, if you're interested about the manned portable air defense systems used by the Ukrainian forces, leave a comment below and we'll provide detailed analysis in our upcoming video.